Hey, Shalom, Shalom, brothers. It's Brother Kamal Mahar here back at it again. First thing first, I'm going to give out praise to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders on this truth from from GMS. Blessing to the Aki Madir preaching his word with whole sincerity. Blessing to the 144,000, one third entirely. The first fruits kingdom of heaven, Nasa David, Dabiyaf, Dawadah. And Shalom to you, brothers out there speaking different tongues and looking different nations. Shalom to you, brothers. So, you know, I just got done with a camp with the brothers. Um, you know, just a little, uh, just a little camp, you know, in Philly. Um, you know, so I hopped in the car, you know, continue the spirit, and drop this, drop, drop a video, um, you know, get it while it's hot. Uh, you know, so I wanted to get in the fact that, you know, we've seen a lot of things out here. Um, but hey, man, you know, it's, when it comes to these wars, even, even just, you know, false prophets, um, you know, uh, righteousness and wickedness, left and right hand side. Is all is all being governed by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And when people do things, when people do things and they're out and about and they, they go about their ways and how they move, you know, there's no free will. You know, this whole thing is is, is controlled by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, all things. You know, the the, the the decision making in what you didn't do, what you could have done, everything is, is all governed by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. You know, so I just wanted to, you know, do a quick video with that. Uh, you know, I've been laying back enough to Apostle Gabar. Um, you know, I go, I go into this from time to time, but it was some, there was some new precepts, uh, that I came across that, um, had to bring out, um, and, um, you know, acquired them and Lord willing, <laughs> and Lord willing, I can, um, you know, hold on to these precepts and also use them for later on and to further edify. Uh, but yeah, man, it, you know, this, this life that we live, man, you know, the fact that I'm doing this video through the Holy Spirit or the cock with dash. Through the spirit of power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, you know, it's of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah for me to be able to do so. So apparently I was supposed to make this video to feed the sheep on this particular topic, to land back off the apostle, to further more the word. And that will that that is what I will I will I will do as well. So, you know, just to get a preset, um, you know, one of the newest ones I came across um was uh Proverbs um uh, 16, I believe. Proverbs, I think, I believe it's 16. It says, uh, uh, okay, Proverbs 16 and 9. It says, uh, it says, a man's heart deviseth his way, but Yahabashim Yahushah directeth his steps. Right. So remember, heart means lob. Which means mine. So the Lord, the Lord guides all men's steps. You know, like every every step because you gotta remember, shoot, let's let's just say the Lord was placing judgment. Um, you know, and you was and the person was pretty much on a bike or or they were walking or uh or however it goes, it was set up for you to be at that right moment at the right time, um, and also walk at that certain time period to be in the street at the right moment for the Lord to for the Lord to hit, make that truck or car hit you and go from there. I just seen a video where uh, there was this woman walking and um, hey, everything looked pretty cool. But until a final destination situation happened where she ended up um, uh, walking and then as she walked by this tree, the tree was shaking and it split in half. Maybe, maybe the wind was blowing and perfectly at the right time that tree uh, smashed her and ultimately killing her. Um, that's the Lord guide her steps in order for her to be there, so the Lord can, can place judgment and to require that spirit. Let alone, let's just say, you know, uh, let's go on the right hand side of this situation, where you happen to have been down in your luck or whatever, and um, no such thing as luck, but you know, it's a figure of speech. You know, you're low down in on your situation. And, you know, the Lord set it up to where it was like, you need some money or something. And the Lord set it up to where you like kind of like just walked outside and you took a different route today. You just say, you know, I'm going to walk over this way. Uh, I'm going to walk this way and kind of go from there. And next thing you know, as you're going on your path, the Lord put it, in, put it in your spirit for you to look down at a different path. And there was a bag there. And some told you to actually go go after it because you saw like a little piece of green leaking out of it. And next thing you know, once you go and uh, open the bag, it's thirty thousand in cash in, in situation. So so you 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 let's say you pray to the Lord that you need that you need for the help, 
And next thing you know, the Lord guides your steps to make you go a different route to for, and to end up finding a bag full of thirty thousand dollars that end up getting you out of debt and sustaining you and keep you going with your daily bread. That's how that goes. It, it go down just like that. You know what I'm saying? So uh, it could be the left or the right hand side with this thing. Um, actually, right here in Proverbs 20, it goes into a similar a similar style of way. Proverbs 20 and 24. Man's goings are of Yahweh. How can a man then understand his own way? Right. So that just right there kills kills free will because this whole thing is controlled. So it's like, all right. So if the man's goings are of the Lord, then how can you actually say, you know, you 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 didn't control your destiny. You didn't you didn't grind your well yeah you did. You did grind your ass off, but the Lord but the Lord is the one that makes of uh richer and rich make us poor. He bring of up and he bring of down pursuing to what? 1 Samuel 2. So you know, you didn't define your destiny. You pretty much you know, um the Lord made it so that way you set up you set up the for what you are and what you got going on. You know, there's days where you got some money and there's days when you don't. There's days when you 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 hungry, but you there's days where you you don't got the food, but then the Lord still feeds you. That's why the Lord says that don't worry about the the, 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 the tomorrow, because worry about that one moment because the tomorrow will take care of itself. Um, shoot, that's that's actually a fact. Even if you know, uh, even if you wasn't spiritual, that still remains to be a fact as well. So, um, you know, I just wanted to bring that out because it's like that's what it is. How can a man understand his own way if the Lord is in control of all his ways? There's another one in uh, Job. Um, like okay for proverbs 20 this was 20 this is 20 right here proverbs 21 and 1 actually it says the king's heart is in the hand of yahweh as the rivers of water he turneth it whatsoever he will so that means the yahweh is also control of war you know whenever there's a war whenever there's two two different nations fighting against each other the lord puts a spirit on them in their mind to make them make a certain move to start war because the war that the lord wanted to wanted to start and wanted to happen for a specific reason of Yahweh Shimon Shah that we don't have no idea why. Now there could be a plot involved, like, oh, okay, you know, this particular army or this king wanted to rule over that land. But hey, that's always also still set up by Yahweh Shimon Shah. There's no getting around that. The Lord wanted that war, not to mention what it says in Exodus Exodus 15 and 3. So it says the said the said the uh Yahweh Shimon Shah is a man of war, right? And a man of war is going to be about war. So, uh, obviously, war is going to be mentioned and is going to be established if the philosophy of the mind of, of of a power is 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 a man of war. Look at the book of look at the book of uh, what, what Genesis. Look at the book of Numbers, uh, num uh, Numbers and um, Joshua too is one of my favorite. Numbers and Joshua is a war is war 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 war, and Israel was getting busy too. You see what I'm saying? So, and that's all controlled by the Heavenly Father, man. I'm just driving home the point. I'm not really sure how long this video is, but I just wanted to, you know, you know, just establish that because there is no free will and everything that's established and everything that's going on is of Yahweh Shah completely. Um, another cool one, actually, I might even have, um, yeah, there was a, it was a Jeremiah 10 and 23. I remember that one too. Um. 10 and 23 it says uh it says oh yahweh shim yahweh shah i know that the way of man is not in himself right it is it is not in man that walketh to direct his steps it's not because we read in the last precepts that 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 the fact that the the, the, the steps of man is guided by yahweh shim yahweh shah you know what i mean you can't if the lord requires your soul He's gonna he's gonna make a way for it to be re re returned in the way he, he wants it to be. There's a perfect time and order and an, and an hour and a second. Oh, if you, your spirit was required, it'll be required at that exact same time that when he needed it. There is no waiting. There is no Yahweh waiting for nothing. It's it's gonna go down the way he would like it to go. So um, I'm gonna read that again. It says, Oh Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, uh, Jeremiah 10:23. I know that the way of man is not in his and is in himself. So whatever you think you're doing, it's not what you think it is or what you decide to do. It's the Lord controlling you to do those things for 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 an agenda in the in, in the production of his movie. You know? Um 
it's that uh, uh, the, my, one of my favorite ones actually is in the book of Job. I mean, I'm, I'm just going to get to the point with this one. Job 33. Um, like around what's that? The uh, this is dope right here because this is like I say this one for last because this one is like really hits hits the point home. It says, "In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men, and slumberings upon the bed, then he opens the ears of men and sealeth their instruction, that he may withdraw." man from his purpose and high pride from man well even so um the point is right there in 15 15 and, and 16 i'm read it again in a dream in a dream in a vision of the night when deep sleep fall upon men and slumberings upon the bed then he opened the ears of men and seal of their instruction so every every morning you wake up there, the, before you slip, before, while you were asleep the lord sealed the instruction on how you was going to move that next day that's deep right there. That's that's completely full control. And when you read these precepts and these scriptures, there's no way in the world you can actually believe that there's free will. When when you're actually guided, like 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 I was guided to to come to camp with the brothers, and I was also meant to stay around and also put this video up. Duwadi habashim yamshad for allowing me the opportunity to even um you know to even feed the sheep and do the work of the Lord. Uh, which, is, which is the best job you can do Even though we got things in the world Things are fun or whatever But when it comes down to business perspective This is the best job you can have uh, Especially like the Apostle Gorka was talking about Because there, there's a great incentive by doing this And so hey You know that's Which is you know salvation And in the kingdom of heaven You know change bodies etc Spiritual power You know just to inherit the whole world Joint heirs of Yahweh Shah Lord willing to be a part of that number You know but I brought this out. I wanted to bring that out, brothers, man. Just a, just a real quick hit. Um, you know, I give all praise to Yahweh, Bashim, Yabashah, Bashim, Kakwadash. Yahweh, he is to be exist, Bashim the name, and the only begotten Son, the Lord and Savior. Yahweh, Shah, Bashim the name, and the Holy Spirit of Kakwadash. Double, double honor to the apostles and elders on the truth from GMS. Blessings to Aki Madera preaching his word, a whole true sincerity. Blessings to 144,000 and one third entirely. The first fruits kingdom of heaven. Nasa David, Biaf, Dawada. And shout out to you brothers out there speaking different tongues and looking different nations. Shout out to you brothers.